In this short lesson, we will examine the various methods used for storing fuel on board an aeroplane. The fuel is carried in or on the aircraft within tanks, which can be integral, rigid, or flexible. Integral tanks are made by sealing during manufacture the insides of the wings and, depending on type, the horizontal stabilizer and the center section torsion box between the wings to provide large volume fuel storage. The advantage of the integral type tank is that there is little extra weight added to the aircraft as the tank is formed from the structure already required. All modern large passenger aircraft will have this type of tank. A rigid tank is a sealed container mounted in or on the aircraft wing or fuselage. Rigid tanks are installed in a compartment designed to accommodate the tank. They are typically of metal construction and may be removed for inspection, replacement or repair. The aircraft does not rely on the tank for structural integrity. These tanks are commonly found in smaller general aviation aircraft. Rigid tanks may be fitted externally, on the wingtip for example. They may be made of metal or of a composite construction. Flexible tanks are reinforced rubberized bags installed in a section of the aircraft structure designed to accommodate the weight of the fuel. They are sometimes referred to as fuel bladders or bag tanks. The bladder is secured by means of metal buttons or snaps inside the compartment. Many high performance light aircraft and some smaller turboprops use bladder tanks. They are also often fitted in military aircraft as they are less likely than the other two types to split on impact and they can be effectively self-sealing in the event of minor battle damage occurring. All larger aircraft fuel tanks have baffles fitted inside them. Baffles are fitted within the tank to restrict the movement of the fuel and minimize the large inertial forces generated when the fuel surges during aircraft maneuvers. Some aircraft may be fitted with baffle check valves, which allow the fuel to flow inboard, but restrict its flow outboard towards the wingtips during maneuvers. Fuel tanks also incorporate vents. A gauging system, water drains, and filler caps. In larger aircraft, the tanks will also have booster pumps. High and low level float switches and pressure refueling valves. These components will all be explained in detail in later lessons. The main points to be taken from this lesson are that aircraft fuel tanks can be integral, rigid or flexible and that baffles are fitted in the tanks to minimize fuel surges during aircraft maneuvers. Remember that some aircraft may be fitted with baffle check valves which allow the fuel to flow inboard but restrict its flow outboard towards the wingtips during maneuvers.